Hey everybody, Scott here from G System Videos. It is Friday, and today I'm going to show you some guitar stuff. I got nothing else. Let's do that. That's right, there's no uh, guitar rig over here. The G system, the JMP1, everything is at uh, the gig that we've got set up for tomorrow night. And it's also at the same place where we rehearse. Um, maybe I'll put some video up because we're gonna shoot it. Uh, it's, it's the whole thing's for a video shoot, for a promo for the website, blah, blah, blah. So maybe I'll, you know, put a link up at least. But, uh, so all my gear's been there since Wednesday, so I can't do shit. <laughs> so I've been, you know, spending time working on this thing and I've got it where I want it now I'm gonna eat it no it's uh, it is now set up intonated floating balanced I'll show you the interesting fun things that I've done to it like the uh, the bar has been shortened it's normally about yay long which to me is just ridiculous it's just way too long and in this particular mode which is closer to the uh, the strat behind me uh, like the David Gilmore sized bar, it takes more pressure so you can be much more subtle with it. And it's also in perfect position to, uh, to do these things, to go, uh, to just flick it off the end and do a little, ah, uh, oh shit, there goes the pick. Do a, uh, you know, little fun metal flurries. So it just flies right off the end, which is perfect. I cut it off myself with a hacksaw and then ground it with the uh, uh, random orbital sander and then uh, sharpied it black. So it looks like it, be like it belongs that way. It's nice. It's actually the perfect size. And you may also notice that there's no, uh, no tone knob. That uh, sort of fell through as well. God damn it. Um, turns out these pickups are only two conductor and they're not gonna stay. I am going to get Tom Anderson's for this after all. I just can't. It's just in my DNA to have Tom Anderson pickups in all my guitars, except for the Strat, of course, but that's a whole different story. But, uh, so I ended up having to get everything completely different from that piece of shit fucking 920D Sigler music fucking lame ass Ibanez drop in harness and uh, there's nothing here of that except for the wire. 50 bucks for some wire. Yeah, I could have returned it had I not tore it apart. Yeah, live and burn. That's what my old mentor Chuck used to say. And uh, he probably still says it, I hope, somewhere, wherever Chuck is. Hey, Chuck. What's up? Um, so, yeah, it's just a standard uh, CTS 500K pot. This is the uh, Super Switch, though, the Shaler. Got it from uh, Stuart McDonald. It's going to stay, and uh, when I put the Andersons in, then I'll have... It's the same configuration as a PERS, a uh, rotary Paul Reed Smith kind of thing. So that'll be good. I'll keep the uh, tone pot out of it, because I don't like tone pots. And I'll just fill this in and then paint over it, so you'll never even know it was there. Woohoo! Um, I got this thing to float using uh, the new FU block. The new FU uh, noiseless springs and the Shaler trem tensioner, spring tensioner, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's great. Love all of these things. Um, the little added weight is not a big deal. I don't give a shit. Um, I think it sounds great. The only amp I have today is my little uh, Fender Automatic. The crunch is not so great, but here's what it sounds like. So, there you go, everybody. Just a little guitar update. I can't really do anything else. Um, the uh, uh, Setting up this thing is interesting. I will give you a little tip. 
uh, for all of you floating locking trem guys. Uh, and this is this comes right from Adam uh, at uh, FU Tone, Floyd Upgrades. Um, block your tremolo. I blocked it on both sides, right uh, here and here. So figure out what uh, what you need to block that in the position where it's level. So uh, a good playing position. Block it, then uh, put the springs on or put the strings on and intonate. Then uh, also one thing, tighten up this uh, spring claw quite a bit. You need that extra tension to hold the uh, to hold the tremolo in place without without strings. And then when you uh, when you finish intonating and uh, tuning it up, take the uh, take the blocks out. It'll totally change, but then just screw in the uh, the claw or the spring tensioner until you get your A string. And once you get your A, everything else is in tune. It's like fucking magic, I tell you. So I employed that, and I'm going to do that every time I st change strings, set the intonation, do anything like that, because it saves a ton of time because nothing moves. Also, set all of your fine tuners to uh, the 50% point, about halfway. And a good way to do that is to back one, like your high E all the way out and put the G all the way in and then uh, set the difference on the B and then just line the rest of them up like that. These are little tips from Adam, to me, to you. So there you go. Some fun tips and uh, hopefully they'll make your life easier with a floating trim because without those tips, I would have spent hours and hours just trying to get this thing in tune. But with it, 15 minutes for string change, intonation, tune up, blah, blah, blah. Thanks, Adam. And uh, I will be back on Monday. My rig will be back. We'll uh, continue with the Strat Pack and it'll be finished next week. Yes. I'm still taking requests though. I had some requests for some cream and some more Hendrix. So lay anything else on me and I'll uh, throw it in there. But uh, I hope everybody has a, a really nice weekend. I'll be back on Monday and until then, rock.